mind you guys, I now have my official YouTube channel, Ross Server. Just search Mammoth Wars official YouTube server. Should come up in the modded server list. Ah, time to get to this video. Hello guys, Mammoth Gaming here with a video, and this is my server. Sorry, to explain why I'm fine about. And <clears throat> this is going to be how to build an iceberg base. And depending on what server you're on, you may or may not be able to make an iceberg base. That is kind of a weird place for that oil dome to be, isn't it? But pretty much what you want to do is uh, look around. Uh, icebergs are found on the north side of the map. The north is... Uh, if you go that way, which is south, I believe. Yeah, south, you'll be in the desert. And north is the... Uh, polar place, or where all the mountain, the other side of the mountains, and it's got these weird looking things, and well, these are called icebergs, obviously. Uh, and iceberg bases are better, usually because you have to craft ladders and swim to raid to them, climbing up ladders on here to build it. So this is going to be a tutorial, sort of, on getting the most out of your iceberg base. Or trying to build one more efficient. Pretty much what we wanted to do to start off is try. Like, this is. I don't think this is that good. So, you go to try and plan it out. Try and get the most space. So, this is not that good. So, you probably want to remove this. If your server has slash remove, you use slash remove, and I don't have permission. So, I think I will just be happy. AKs and explosive ammo to rescue. Now, after spending a large amount of time trying to get the largest shape on your iceberg, this is quite small. But on icebergs, you do you usually don't need big bases. You know, you you probably want to go for towers on these things because you're not going. You might get a few buildings. Like if you want another one to go, say around here. But this part's kind of uneven. This is this is. Well, I mean, so this one, yeah, I'm gonna build two structures on this iceberg. This one, sort of a spawning room slash shooting at cunts swimming in the water room. Yeah, maybe a secondary storage option if I need one. So, you get your iceberg and you build your foundations on it, and obviously all that usual stuffy stuff. Um. So you you got all your foundations and obviously you want to upgrade it all. If you're an admin, obviously you can upgrade it with ease. Not upgrading that one as well though. Right, so what you want to do is make your bottom floor all honeycombed. This is just to prevent that one sneaky motherfucking raider that is going to maybe get in. But the way I'm going to do this nice honeycomb is having a... Double airlock, I suppose that's one, two, yeah, maybe double, I don't know how you put these airlocks. And, I don't know, like, raiders, they usually get lucky on the way they are getting in your base to raid it. So I'm going to make a little thing like this. And a four frame. And what you put in these four frames uh, is these ladder hatches. Um... I like to use make bases with other hatches because it makes it if they get in your base they've got an option level your base or get more people to jump up they get more layers which if they level your base most people don't it's just wasting resources unless they're just out for your clan I know some people do do that in Rust so like, oh, I don't like your clan you're fucking dead so you make your little entrance of doors for the honeycomb and then you will simply finish layering this all like this you know so I'll come back when I've done that so when you have all your cubes inside to prevent C4 what you want to do you also up you probably have this up either. but yeah you, you, let's just do that have it all armoured if you can afford it and then to maybe stop you get these metal wooden barricades get a thousand at a time um, and you will try and lay these around the iceberg or you can put large wooden walls or large stone walls. I will probably put large stone walls. Um, it might be quite difficult if you're not god molding. But it's a lot, uh, iceberg bases, they're usually about a lot of 
trial and error. Like most of the time, like bases, you build it and you've got a base. Like there's, there's got pretty much unlimited land to build on. Uh, sometimes you might have to split them up, but you pretty much got all the land you need. And obviously, you're restricted to that. Like it's like a little fucking anvil type thing. What was like an anvil? And then you've got that. That that's just everything you can build on over there. And then here you've got these fucking little tiny things. And the majority of the time, people have taken the icebergs, so you can't even build on the iceberg. It's just painful. You're like no. But yeah, so this is how you get in the base. You'll go and enter here. Probably want to put another door right there. And then you're in. This is the, the second floor. And again, that is just another for a honeycomb. And you need double honeycombs. So what you do? This makes this is a, this more. This is a more secure honeycomb where, but most people do blow up on the second floor actually. So you should be alright. I know me when I'm raiding, I'll jump up on the second. Well, I'll, I'll blow up the second layer, and hopefully the, the guy didn't have any goals. And most of the time, do. But at least you've skipped the bottom layer. At least I skipped it. And then sometimes people have their way down to the bottom layer from when you're inside the base, and then you make your way up. So I'm gonna finish on the this bottom floor, or the second bottom. Now, when you have all that done, most of it actually. When you have yeah, when you have all that done, you probably. Like wow, two layers of honeycomb. Most like you probably want to have as much layers of honeycomb as your resources have. That makes sense, doesn't it? But you have you you want to make a honeycomb as high as you can. Like you want to have as most layers as you can. But majority of people re either can't be bothered like me, and this is a tutorial, so you don't really need to do that, and I'm explaining it, or don't have the resources. Um. Either way, you'd want def you definitely want to have your first two fours honeycombed. First two fours is a need, is a must because that's what people can get to real easily. But above that, your majority of the time you are fine. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I don't don't even ask why I done that voice. And then to secure your base, you're gonna want this nice, beautiful. Um. I don't know. What, I'll just stick it on this corner here. You probably want to have it on the inside, but we don't have enough room. And then by that, we can just demolish this. Like, what? Be bomb, bomb, right? Demolish. Well, it's demolished. I may as well just slash up everything. And we've got it slash up. Is this the wrong way around? I think it is the wrong way around. But it doesn't matter because it's an admin base. Like. Obviously, I can pick up the fuck off the space, but who cares? Now, depending on the way you like your base to be set out, some people like to open their um, part where they've got that set in, some people don't, and majority of people probably don't want to open it. So, a lot of people have like clans and they keep on expanding the clan and be like, oh my god, I need to open this room again just to let you thingy uh, authorize yourself. but. I'm usually okay with that, and I'll just destroy it. Uh, it stops raiders, it's more hidden from the site of raiders, and if they get build permission, your base is pretty much fucked. Like, uh, usually servers don't allow them just to take bases or destroy them, but they can they can build the raid towers to get to the top floor pretty much. If they get build and privilege on your little fucking, small as fuck little thing. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then it's fought for, just to make it simple, this is where I'm going to have my chest. I don't know why I'm looking there for a chest. And uh, that chests are over, they're under, I actually don't know what they're under. Large wooden boxes, right. From them. And I'll get a bed as well, just to make the easiness. So your chest room's going to want to be quite big. So I'm going to get chest cabinet things. What's it called? The salvage set. Salvage. Just ignore it. You know where it is. So <laughs> um, somehow I have difficulty. Great difficulty saying that word. Salvaged CGLs. There you go. That was a word. So then you want to go. Obviously this is. Yeah. 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 So we now have our chest room. Simple. Um, not very really neat. Just a chest room. Yeah, if you're building a uh, iceberg base, you probably already have a base, so you want to have 
multiple bases, usually on Rust. Like, you, if you get raided, you want to have a backup. Especially on vanilla servers. These modded servers don't really matter because you can get your items back pretty fast. Like, you get raided on vanilla, you've lost everything. On this, you get kits. Most of the time you get kits are modded. Oh, I know on my server I use kits. And the majority of them use kits. So you can just get a simple kit build to get yourself started up again. Some of them actually have like guns and that. I have guns on mine, but I don't have... It's like daily kits and stuff. But... Uh... Yeah, but you want to have a multiple bases. That's just rust tips in general. Um, multiple bases mean multiple success. I don't know. But, um, another thing I'm going to do on this base is, you probably already guessed it, is have a floor for defense. Defense, that's a word, yeah, defense. So you probably want to have lots of windows on this floor, like, right? not too many. I'm probably just going to window it all, because I have the resources to burn them all. Most people do, and yeah, I want to window that one as well. But you probably want to put windowed. Yeah, you put, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show you. What I mean, ah, the present words today. So you're gonna have to go into construction and get these reinforced window bars. Uh, usually, these are quite difficult to come by unless you have the crafting thing for them. You also want to get some. See if we can find them here now. I can't find them today. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this is, well, have you not seen this before? This is quite interesting for you guys. I haven't seen this menu before. Uh, or, no, the user's menu. I'm looking for, uh, them losers or something. I can't actually put them in some order. I, I think it's in construction. I was just in here. Oh, there it is. Uh, we probably want the... I prefer these ones. Then, probably won't ever need 1000 of these in any base but I just got creative industries right you wanna reinforce all these so people can't just shoot rockets through them or destroy them with a fucking pinky top and then when you have all them on the tricky task oh actually I might just fly outside and do this oh I've already done it wrong <laughs> okay the tricky task of putting them on the outside of the window and that one failed. Miserably. 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 Oh. So now that we have this nice, um, well, oh, that was lag. Again, um, the server, as a server, yeah, yeah, yeah. But now that we have the nice, uh, metal embrosures to stop rockets from destroying the base of baseness, you want to probably just shoot out these when people are coming, but yeah, yeah, I'm not going to leave that down. Oh. So this is my, uh, it's pretty simple base, but now let's work on uh, actually populating the island with population. I don't know. But let's let me finish up with this. So if you're on this base, other side ones you probably want to go slash set home base. If you already if this if your server doesn't have the home command, don't worry, most of them do. I don't know. <laughs> if it doesn't you can't do this obviously you have to kill yourself and you do sleeping bags. Um and it's gonna be a majority different majority a lot different if you are I actually don't want to do this. It'd be a lot different if you uh, to get on these on and off these. Um, usually you have a set home out on like the very base of that island. So to defend, obviously you're going to use these. These beautiful bad boys that everyone knows of. High external stone walls. Um, I don't know if you can throw C4 on others or not. You probably can because you can throw C4 whilst swimming. But this is going to help a bunch. Um, if you can even... I uh, don't think I can die. Yeah, uh, maybe you can swim down here. This is just a theory. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Swim them here and place them on the base of the iceberg. Uh, but probably best is fine. Oh, you're getting them. I seen it. You probably won't be able to get up there unless you have ladders. Come on. Oh, 
Oh no. Uh, I don't think I'm getting it down there. But if your iceberg's letting you get it down there, put it down there. That's a lot better. But right now, I'm... You probably want to put the walls before you build the base. Helpful tip. Before you build the base, put the walls or... So you can sort of plan out. But you put the walls all the way around the island if you can. Like, sometimes you can't do that. Probably could if I try a bit more. But this is just a rough. This is just me trying to get an island so yeah now that's as much as the island I'm going to get walled up you probably should have um, this is quite dodgy walling but you probably would have planned it out like you would have done the walling before and then just to make an extra secureness you might want a barbed wire around your base um, this barbed wire will help intruders from getting in your base obviously it will help the intruders getting in your base with barbed wire no, I'm joking. That will help, help you defend your base from people trying to jump in the sides and corners and oogie boogie you from Earth. I'll just stop people. So this is uh, just extra barricades. Anything you do, one mines are perfect for it. No one, most of the time, people won't get up here either to get even near your base. You might even want to go on the land and this surround your base and surround. The islands that you're near with fucking traps just annoy the bloody hell of the fucking world. That will that does annoy everyone. That's even the metal ones, isn't it? Yeah, it's wooden ones. You get metal ones that are harder to destroy. To destroy, harder, harder. Then on your island, you got your perfectly island. Um, you want to make a bed in your base in case you die. This is just beautiful little base. Not that hard to make, as you see. Fucking, let's do the shot. Oh, what's it called? A boat. So, if you like this video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. I don't really care. Stone for minus this video is that. And I'm almost at uh, 200 subscribers. And when I hit 200, I've got a special video coming out. I'm not going to ruin it, but I would say it's a challenge and it will cause me a great deal of pain. So, if you're new, subscribe and you'll see that. It just, when I hit 200, I'll probably record it, pre record it. Um, I'll try that, and yeah, thanks for watching, Mammoth Gaming out, hopefully you enjoyed this, goodbye. Icebergs, into something more powerful than God. Turn the small, magnificent ice sculpture on the fucking sea of seaness into an unreadable, slash almost unreadable, so I shall get fucking raided no matter what. Fucking iceberg. That looks like a boat. And it's beautiful. So in this video I'll be telling you how to do this.